Hello everybody and welcome to Distant Bloom. Before we start, I'd very much like to thank Ember Trail for the press key for this one. And it, this is a game all about these little dudes here. And uh, they've crash landed their ship. And they've landed on this new planet. And they need to find all of their friends while making the planet green in the process. So that's basically what we're looking at here. Very cute, very adorable. Very fun. So let's pop in and start a new game. So here's the story. They found a planet. The planet sucks. It's barren and horrible. That one's great! Let me guess, that's not the one we're going to land on. We're going to land on the sucky one, aren't we? I like their language. Dooba dooba doo. <laughs> I probably just swore at them. Okay, so they, the aliens are sending off a robot and other aliens. Cool. on a space flight to this new amazing planet which i'm imagining they want because their planet is dying or they just want to settle a new planet they've got too many people la 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 and off they go oh no some stuff happened <laughs> did they run out of no they wouldn't have run out of fuel they went to the wrong place Ah, Cakey, sleeper, sleeper, wake up, assistant, I'm awake I think, asleep for five, four, seven, five hundred cycles, stand up, awakener, what, have we been asleep for that long, really, so we only had a quick look at this last time, it was about a 40 minute episode, since then I've lengthened episodes, so we will be definitely covering more ground this time, uh, if the video does well, you will get more, as usual. Help! So we get, we're get we getting assistant out. Oh no, sorry, we're getting cakey out. Hey there, bud, don't be scared. Big thank, untrapper. <laughs> what happened? Error. Memory data incomplete. Are together. Safe now. Yeah, but my cryopod is completely broken. And where's the hearth ship? Detached. My pod detached from the hearth ship. Did it separate during landing? Yes, yes, detached, crashed, trapped, cakey. Um, are you okay? Run diagnostics, diagnostics, diagnostics. Untrap a nearby, cakey, protect. Yes, I'm here, don't worry. Uh, can you locate the hearth ship? Triangulation outside radius. Then we'll have to search for it. The elder and the others might be in danger. Let's get away before this thing goes boom. So let's get away before this thing goes boom. I've forgotten entirely how to play this. It's been a while since I uh, did the demo, so... What's this junk doing here? Pod crash? I don't think so. It looks like it's been here for a while, but how? This planet is supposed to be untouched. Pick. Ew, why would I pick up someone else's trash? Research. Uh, uh, trash researcher? Too niche. Being an assistant is better, but I can hand this over to our actual scientist, if they're awake. Pick up trash. We have some trash. Wonderful. Just what I needed. Just what I wanted all my life. Have a good look around. See if there's anything around that I can do or pick up or look at. Can we go up here? Is there anything up here? Is there anything over here? I've discovered the valley. The cliff paths. Oh, there's lava down there. Let's not go down there. Uh, we might get a little bit uh, burned. Which is not so good. There's more trash over there. Let's pick it up because we are gross, apparently. So <laughs> we'll walk up here, I think. Seeing as this is about the only way I can go right now. And pick up this trash. And, um... Oh, go down here. Yeah, okay. This is a place we can go. Lovely. Uh, I could jump down or I can carry on up. 
What happens if I jump down? Oh, I can't. I can't jump down. Okay. Well, we can just carry on going up then. Yeah. What's this? This planet was lush with life when we saw it from Ultra 2. But none of the plants looked like in the guidebook. Hmm. I think we might be on the wrong planet. I'm, I've got a feeling that we were on the first planet they scanned uh, rather than the second one they scanned that looked lovely. Or it's just been so long since we crashed that the, the, the things have gone downhill a bit. One or the other. Blurry telescope? The images might have been a little fuzzy, but we've been in cryosleep for a very long time. Who knows what happened? Which is exactly what I was saying. We're either on the wrong planet, or they took the readings wrong, or it's just changed over time. Well, okay, so I guess I can't do much about that at the moment. I can keep gathering trash, though. As, as ever in... This is a slightly puzzly game. As ever in puzzly games, you always do what you can do. And don't worry about the things you cannot. Okay. Found some, like, other stuff. Oh, look, there's a pod over there. Can we do anything with it? Another cryopod. They got lucky. Whoever's inside is still sound asleep. We should wake them up. Accessing mission guidebook. Follow safety regulations. Only the mission leader may wake crew members from cryo sleep. Ah, you're right. I really hope the Elder's safe. Otherwise, this altar will be in there for a long time. No more sleep. Is lonely. Don't worry. We'll come back for them. Altar. Is that their, their race? Are they called altars? Just keep going. And keep going. And... Oh! Oh, I can't go that way. Ooh. There's, like, gross oil stuff in the way. Um... Can I go this way? Ah, yes. And through this cave. I remember this cave from last time. I don't know why I randomly remember one cave, but I do. I gotta think I'm so gross for picking up all this garbage. Now oh, then, do I go this way or that way? Or do they, oh, they, they all line up anyway. Doesn't even matter. Path ship in radius. Ah, I can see it on my compass now. It shows you a compass. It shows you the general direction towards things of importance and the current time of day. Lovely. Let's carry on. Definitely doing this quicker this time because I know what I'm doing. Can't go that way. We found the hearth ship! Yay! Down we go. We have discovered our base. So this is the base of operations we should now be able to find at the Elder. And start our mission properly. So, hello Elder. Elder, are you awake? Of course I am. A robot couldn't be in charge of landing the hearth ship. It's a delicate task, which I executed flawlessly. So you meant to detach the cryopods? Uh, <coughs> detach? <clears throat> you mean to say the survey probes? No, I mean my pod crashed nearby. I woke up on the ground and found Keiki trapped by rubble. Oh! Big oof. Uh, by the plentiful. That must have been a malfunction. Only the probes were meant to detach before landing. We will sort this out promptly. But tell me, what is it like out there? What did you see? I saw another Alta's pod. It seemed intact, but we should get them out of there quickly. Of course you did. Well, to follow protocol and find me. But the pods offer protection. Before opening any other, we must ensure our surroundings are also safe. At the risk of sounding like us, look. These plants look suspicious. Examine them and report back to me. Here, take the exoscanny. It will show you data about everything you scan. Okay. New tool, exoscanny. Scanning objects will provide you with more information about the object in question and will be stored in your journal. Equip the scanner. Okay. Scan plants around the hearth ship. So, scan garbage. Scan that. Can I scan you? No, oh, okay. I can't scan you. I can only scan garbage. There's some plants here, though. A large metal pile. A strong force will be needed to extract these large metal chunks from the ground. Okay. I need a magnet or something later, I guess. 
We've got some plants around here? No. Ah, where's all my plants? What am I supposed to be scanning? Some stuff down here, look. There's a tree. Okay, let's scan, the, scan, scan that one. So it's not very happy. It's a, it's a hod, hod a dapple. Hodadapule, I think we're going to go with. Hodadapule plant. Um, any other plants around here? Like, uh, can we go anywhere around here? What's up here? Any plants around here? Oh, here's one. That is a Hodayapenk. It is a fern. And it is not very happy. I don't know how many plants we have to scan. Oh, I think they show on my mini map actually. Yeah, they do. Duh. Hmm. Oh, that's showing the hearth ship. Okay. And then the purple is the plants. Ah, right. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha now. So I need to go up this way towards this plant. Aha. So have a look at you then, Mr. Plant. This was the last one, so we've got a fern, a herb, and a tree. Let's show the elder our findings. We've not gotten to my favourite bit yet. My favourite bit is restoring all the plants. It's like so satisfying. You have no idea how satisfying it is. It's amazing. Right. Elder, I think the plants look bad because they're struggling, not because they're dangerous. I was wondering if the trash... No, that cannot be. We had trash everywhere on Ultra 2. I never had any issues. Stop picking it up, and you should be fine. <laughs> Either way, if there's no danger, then you may go wake up your fellow crewmate. Uh, aren't you supposed to open the pods? I have to <coughs> locate the survey probes. Yes, it requires running complex triangulations from the ship's console. In the meantime, I trust you will handle the pod opening task with utmost care. I'll do my best. Okay, so we need to uh, use your map and journal to find your way around. Uh, map. So we've got this bit unlocked. I don't I don't recall having a good map like this last time, so that's wonderful actually. Um doesn't really show where my my pod mate is though, does it? So we'll just run around until I find them. That's how I usually do things. Can't climb back up. Oh no, let's go this way because it's probably time to probably go up this cliff here, can't we? And then we're up at the Oh no, okay. So there's stuff in the way. Ah, well, okay, we'll have to, I guess we'll have to go this way then. Elder said no more trash picking, but why not? I think we should clear the planet. Wow, what happens? It all, yeah, so I was so right and the Elder was so wrong. Witness, trash picker. Ooh, I lo like I thought, it was the trash making the struggle. I had no idea plants could look so pretty. They look gorgeous in this game. Pollutants can cause plants to get sick and wither, remove them and help the plants and the environment to grow. Oh, it's so lovely. And then we get bridges, you see. Look how pretty it looks now. Oh, I love making it green so much. Well, it's not just the plants that grew when I cleaned up. This root is massive. Do you think it's sturdy enough to walk on? Root bridge! It's definitely giving you... As, I would say it's definitely... Well, it might be the fact that I've done the demo and I know what I'm doing a bit more, but it's, I feel like it's definitely giving you more of a... A bit more of a handhold to start with. I found it a little bit tricky previously. But it's seeming a bit better this time. What's this? What's this? <laughs> More junk, but it looks different. Is it organic? It seems to react to nearby plants. Alright, so probably what I need to do here then is to pick up the trash, get the plant sorted, and then maybe it will interact with the organic trash. This game's all about interactions. Hey look, the plants filtered out the pollution once they grew. Good plant. The strange substance can be removed with the help of nearby plants as long as they've grown strong enough. This is definitely a bit of bit of a tutorial here, isn't it? What's this? Um, 
nice. Can you? Discarded glass, fused together by time. Can it be broken apart? Not at the moment, but probably later. Mm, I need to undo this so I can pick things up again. How do I... I have rather a lot of trash in my inventory, but how do I make it from go from scan to pick up? Q isn't working. That's tab. Scroll. Because I want to pick up that trash. But now I can't. Ah, this is the first thing I'm struggling with now. Um, have a look at my journal. Friends, facts. Tutorials. Compass pollution. Solidified ooze, great, no, see. So. Nothing about how I... Take things in and out of my... Oh, ah, right, it's F, it's F. F is for back. So, Q to put it in. Um, escape doesn't work. Yeah, F seems to be the back button for a lot of things here. Okay, so just in case you're a bit confused, like me... Oh, I should have picked up the trash, shouldn't I? There we are, so... Q to equip the scanner. F to remove the scanner. Um, guessing we've already been down here, so... Where we go now? We can't go past the glass. We could go that way. Uh, we can go up this way. I can drop down onto that and pick it up, and then we could go maybe up here. Ah, there's some trash to pick up. I'm enjoying this. Don't judge me. I'm very much enjoying it. Oh, now I can get up this route. Ah, there he is. Oh, what's this? Let's scan it. A smelly puddle of crude oil. You'll need something to soak it up. Right, let's go and interact with this pod, shall we? Who are you? You have a big fork. Wakey, wakey. Bahan. Ah, well, that's a face I wasn't expecting. Did we arrive? Yes, we're on Ultra 3 now. Thank goodness. I don't think my bones could have taken one more day in that pod. Wait, I thought we'd be by the hardship. We're not far away. Just go through the cave and you'll reach it. Great, you go on ahead. I need to gather my flavour capsules first. See you there. So we need to go up through the cave, which is... Somewhere around here, I think. Where's the cave? <laughs> I need to know where the cave is. Go back this way. Oh yeah, here's the cave, I remember now. I'll be lost for a while. You know what I'm like. It takes me a while to get my bearings. Once I have them, I know where I'm going for like ever in a day. I'll come back to this in a, in a year and I'll still know where I'm going, but like... It takes me ages to work it out. I think it has to go to my long-term memory. It doesn't just stay in my short-term. My short-term's terrible. My long-term's decent. Whee! Let's go tell the Elder what we've done. That is going to get me every time. <laughs> Why put that in? Arr. Ah, good. You've returned in one piece. Yep, mission accomplished. Oh, then where's our fellow crew member? Well, what happened was... <laughs> he's on his way. Where are you going, Keiki? Very well. I suppose they should be arriving any minute now. Good work, both of... 
Where did that robot disappear to? Keiki? They couldn't have gone far. Don't worry. I'll go take a look around. Fine, Keiki. Where are you? Have you gone over here? You went in this direction. Aha, you have gone over here. So what's going on over here then, Keiki? There you are, buddy. Why did you just run off like that? Activity detected. Oh, a bit of life is coming back into this route. Is it because of the plants we helped earlier? But it seems it's not quite enough. Not yet, at least. Oh, I remember that route. We fixed that. That was the end of the demo. Yeah. Where lead? Inside the cave? Uh, I can't really see. We'll get to the root of this issue. Maybe helping more plants might do the trick. But that's for later. Let's go and see if Bahan has arrived yet. Helping plants grow will restore life to the world, which in turn increases the revitalization bar. What's our revitalization bar then? I guess we'll work it out. Shh. Don't tell the elder. I'm picking up trash again. Hello. Ah, good. You found the robot. Bahan here just arrived moments ago. There you two are. Thanks again for coming to fetch me. I would have naturally come to wake you up myself, but uh, I cannot leave the half ship in the hands of a greenhorn. No worries. Your assistant has been very helpful. Elder, me and Keiki managed to bring some life back to some nearby roots. That's uh, nice. Now let's unpack. I found a storage tent in the ship. Set it up, would you? Am I supposed to leave my precious flavour capsules in a tent? Where's Racer? They should build a workshop. Actually, where is everyone? Ahem, the tent, assistant. Uh, I'll place it in a nice spot. Won't be much of an improvement, but I appreciate that, as long as I have space for all my sporks. Tell Bahan when you're done. There's more to do next. Okay, let's quickly go and do the tent. So there will be a box, usually on the ship. Ooh, the ship's cool. And we will place the tent. And we can go talk to Bahan. The tent awaits you. Thanks, but um, I found out from the Elder, there's a spot in the ship's hold. Your spot. I don't think I can fit both myself and all my utensils in this tiny tent. What do you say about switching? You mean I'd get to sleep in the tent and you in the ship? Yeah, that's fine. Just make sure you cook me some food. Thanks, that's very kind of you. I'm going to carry my stuff to the ship then. I may have overpacked a little. Hee <laughs> let's see what's in here. What in the name of Plentiful is this? What's this shovel doing in my backpack? Did I sleep on this thing the entire journey? No wonder my back's killing me. Just you wait until you get older and your joints start aching. You won't be laughing then. Go easy. Here, I'll take it off your hands. Thank you. I don't want to see that thing ever again. Right, new tool, shovel. So shovel is under two. So one for the exoscan, two for the shovel. Would zero take things out? No, F to take things out. I think we're good now. Elder? Oh, what now? Uh, are you all right? Naturally, why would I not be? Is there anything I can help you out with? The first step in the mission for Guidebook is setting up a home base, albeit nothing details what to do if the crew scatters. No, the Elder Federation thoroughly devised this guidebook. If we just follow the steps, we can get to the bottom of this. Um, finding the others is the highest priority. I share your concern, yet it's not that easy. I'm not supposed to tell you this, but I need you to understand the situation. There were some uh, budget cuts at Exoco before we launched our ex expedition. Just what you want to hear, isn't it? You're going, you're going into space and they're like, there were some budget cuts. I believe an emergency release system was planned, but then scrapped halfway. So while the eject button still exists in the hearth ship, the pods actually cannot be tracked if they detach. Whoa, that's, uh, that's dumb. We're not here to question those who made this expedition possible. Exoco passed all the Federation safety regulations. Uh, then... <laughs> so flammable pods got the... No, we'll come up with our own solution. Why do you not focus your energy into something useful, instead of pestering me? Oh, just in time. Do you hear that? It's the ship alerting us to the location of one of our survey probes. 
Go inside the ship and load the coordinates into your compass. Then go away. To find the probe, of course. Uh, let's have a look. So activate this probe 34Q. Follow the signal southwest. In this direction. So I'm guessing we'll go this way. And see if we can try and get sort of more south. Yeah, I think it might be down here then. Oh, let's scan these. Q actually does scroll between them. A Peliopule. A Pilacapero. I'm going to be terrible at pronouncing these. Some garbage. No, I wanted to actually scan the third plant, but, uh, you know. And a, a palatopine tree. Okay. So. Let's... Oh, sorry. Scanning when I shouldn't be scanning. Let's get my hands free, pick up the garbage, and see if they... Do a thing. Root bridge. Lovely. Keiki, hold up. I just noticed there's something growing on this herb. Seeds, I think they're called. I'll try grabbing some before we move on. Resources like seeds can be harvested from plants that have bloomed. Simply walk up to such a plant and press harvest. So, I remember doing this. You'd harvest all the seeds. E to take all, please. I'm pressing E. I have to close. Seemed a bit stuck there. That's better. So we've got some tree seeds, but that was it. Maybe we can come back here later and there'll be more seeds. So we have discovered the rocky shoreline. There's a pod over there. Woohoo! That's right, but it's lodged into the other side of the cliff. I don't think we can reach it from here. Let's find another bridge. Let's get rid of all of the trash we can. Whoa! Are there any seeds here? I guess we'll come back for them. Just get rid of the trash for now. Hmm, seems like only removing the pollution wasn't enough for this spot. You know, I've been wondering. I don't really know how plants work, but there's a way to grow them, right? Ask seed. Hmm, I don't think they can talk. But can they? They grow from the ground, so let's put one in there. Seed planter has shovel. Empty soil tiles can be used to plant seeds. Just bring out your shovel, dig a hole, and choose what seed to plant. Now, I seem to remember that, like, with trees, it's better to plant, like, herb and the other one. So, like, um, you plant them in threes. Let's get the shovel out. We'll dig. And we'll plant. Unfortunately, all I have is a herb. So they go well together, but then I could really do with a different thing here. I could try planting another herb. It seems to work okay, but I think that would do better with um, uh, something different. So let's do this one here, and we'll plant a couple of herbs in here. We're going to do a lot better, like I say, if we if we have the full set of three. We did it! Planting two plants of different types near each other will allow them to grow into a healthy state. Oh, so it's only two, actually. So we need to make sure that there's always a bit of variety in these, in these planting spots. Did we get a new... Oh, yeah, we got a new route up to here. Okay. Cool. So what are we going to do up here, then? Plant some more seeds. So let's plant another herb in here, then. If I have enough. And that's my final one. Huh? The plants grew even bigger this time. 
Herb, fern, tree. Grow together? Hey, yeah. Maybe they're like us. Having a variety of different neighbours makes them happy. And look, all of them have lots of seeds now. Maybe it's safe to grab some more from them all now they've had grown so big. With two neighbours of different types, plants can grow strong enough to bloom, allowing you to harvest their seeds. Ah, so two to grow, three to bloom. Nice. Again, struggling to grab everything there. Right, so if I put them here... Can I plant things here? Do I need to... I maybe need to remove the... The uh, stuff from there? I'm not sure. It's not certainly not letting me interact here. Whereas over here, there's is certainly it's lighting up and saying, "Hey, come do this," you know. So, how about we remove the herb there and plant in a fern? Then they're going to do extra good. And we'll do the same over here. We'll remove the herb. And I will plant a fern. And that should allow everything to grow a bit more. Beautiful. So now I'll be able to get um, seeds from these when they're ready. Uh, I can harvest the tree. Oh, apparently I can't. We need to wait a little bit, I think, on that one. Okay. So we're trying to get our everything done in threes. Now this one here could do with removing the fern and putting in a tree, I think. If I can, if I'm allowed, which it, apparently I'm not. Okay, fine. We'll try and make sure that we do that from now on as much as possible. What I'm trying to do is get the, a root to grow maybe across the water so that we can get over there. Let's see. It looks to me like I have opened up a... Oh, here we go. Yeah, I've opened up a root over here. I can pick up this trash. Something went flying just now. Were those seeds? It must have been. New plants are growing where they landed. Cakey, catch. No, it's good. I think that's how they spread. It'll help us plant seeds faster. When plants bloom, they'll attempt to spread their seeds into nearby empty tiles. Cool. I kind of feel like they should be swapped over or something, but actually you've got tree, tree, fern... Maybe a herb and a tree and then a fern or something. I kind of feel like we should have different ones in here. Um, so how about we put a... Fern in, in... Did I just take out a fern? Come on. That needs to be a... That one doesn't look too happy. I think we remove that f herb and we remove that tree. We put in a herb here. And a fern. Oh no. Should have been a fern there and a herb there. Okay. Herb there. Oh wow. That was good, whatever I did. But that needs to be a fern, I think. To make it big and strong. There we are. We just want to get really good layers going with really big, strong plants, and then I'll have plenty of places to harvest from. So this is just a very simple herb, tree, fern combination. And fern. 
and eventually we'll have combos of five, which is interesting. So I can get up here or down to the beach. These roots are really handy. They are. These ones here, I think I'm going to need to remove the um, metal from it first. Okay. Wakey, wakey. Huh? How did they get out of the pod? Unless... No, did we forget them on Ultra 2? Cakey guard pods on ship. Everyone there. Aha. Uh -huh. It's a note from Riser. To Elder Umarel. If you're not the Elder, take this to the Elder. Read. Um, I'm the Elder's assistant, so... Woke up from choir sleep three cycles ago. I'm unharmed. I considered the pros and cons of waiting for rescue. Decided to head out. I'll follow the river. Razor. Weird. Why would Razor not wait for us if they thought we'd find them? And who knows how long that river is? Let's bring the note back to Elder Umarel, together with the survey probe data. Did we find the survey probe? No. It's a survey probe up here? Seems to be in this direction, generally. Ah, here we are. This must be the survey probe the Elder mentioned. It seems to have gathered quite a lot of data about this region. I hope the uplink still works, so we can send it back to the hearth ship. Instructions? It shouldn't be too difficult. Just let me... Aha, there. Quest completed! What have we got down here? More trash. Yeah, I should probably go back. There's definitely more to do around here, but we have made some nice progress in that little area. Look how pretty it is. Now, how did we get down here again? <laughs> Was it this way? No. Do I need to go up? Oh, no, up this route. It's up this route. I remember. Gotta go up all the routes. Okay, so we're back at the base. Lovely. Sweet home. So, I I found the pod, but not the person. Elder, I found Rose's pod down by the shoreline. It was empty. But they left a note. Why did you not start with that? Mm, nearly gave me a heart attack. Give it here. It's addressed to me, but I can see it's been opened. Not by any nosy assistant, I hope. No. Hmm. <laughs> Let us see. Race ventured out into the wilds, and the directions they left are too unreliable to follow. Uh, do you think they're safe? I understood you left the safety of your pod because it was damaged, but I expected better judgement from Razor. I trust they can handle themselves, but this situation is worrisome. We need to learn more about our environment in order to determine where they might have gone. I can search for more survey probes. I already sent the data fr from the one you asked me to locate. Good, good. Something definitely happened here. Did you discover anything else? Well, Keiki and I made even more plants grow. We planted them next to each other and... I have no interest in that, assistant. I must focus on finding Racer. I'm sure Bahan will be happy to hear your anecdotes. Okay. I will go talk to, to Bahan then. See if I care. So what's this down here then? There's a... Something going on. Ah, let's chat to Bahan. Hey Bahan, do you have some time? For you, always. Great, look at this cool thing I've learned. Just need a spot where I can put three different plants together. How about this spot? I just finished going through the stuff that was laying around here. Oh, what are you going to use it for? And what about your back? Oh, it's feeling a lot better, so don't worry. And as for the stuff, let's just say it's for a side project. But never mind that, show me what you learned. Okay, first we're going to take away this garbage. And then we're going to go herb. And we're going to go fern. I've only got two fern seeds left, so I might need to do a little bit of harvesting soon. Wow, that's amazing! Right? When did the plants grow big like this? It's even possible to harvest new seeds from them. And with those seeds, we should finally be able to make some jelly. True. Yesterday was so intense, I didn't even notice we skipped dinner. Ugh, I noticed. My stomach was grumbling all morning. But I packed my flavour capsules super well. So they're all fresh. I'll mix everyone's favourite. 
I dug out the extra nutri assembly box from the ship's storage, but I'm kind of spent at the moment. Would you mind fetching it and setting it up outside? Sure thing. Alright, let's go find the exo nutri box. I very much expect again it will be a box inside the ship. There we are, exo nutri box. And where are we going to place that then? Right here, apparently. Put any seeds into the exo nutri in order to have it craft a batch of jelly. Alright, we're supposed to be making jelly then. I'm apparently now the chef as well. Let's make it out of a herb seed. Oh, any five... Oh, gee. Okay, two, three, four, five. And then we'll make some jelly. Lovely. Um, jelly time. <laughs> Jelly's ready. Well, look at that. We might make a flavour chemist out of you. Cakey tastes. Um, you can have a little jelly as a treat. Certainly not. The robot might be redundant now we landed, but I will not have it malfunction because jelly stuck in its gears. Now, let us eat. I'm starving. Let let the elder be the bad guy there. Hee <laughs> hee. Nom, nom, nom. Oh, this jelly is disgusting. There's no seasoning. And what happened to the flavour? Um, I didn't want to say anything, but... <laughs> the flavour infuser must have been damaged. No need to overreact. Just fix it. I can't. This lime was recalled from the market right before our expedition. Some accident involving a hamster. You are saying we do not have any spare parts. I'm sure Ricer will manage to make some once they're back. As much as I trust Ricer's skill, I don't think they'll be able to. Exoco makes these things function only with their own certified parts. Oh, in the name of plentiful. <sighs> and we must eat the jelly as it is. Elder, with respect, I've had to make some very questionable flavours in my career, but this is unbearable. On my pride as a flavour chemist, we must do better. Then what are we going to eat? I, I don't know. I need some time to clear my head. Hi. What are we going to do now? Oh, I'm so tired. I'm not surprised. You've been running around all day. Why don't you take a break? Come, let's light a campfire. Make a camp. Ah, oh, lovely. We've got a little camp here and everything. Yeah, like that. Um, I don't have my automatic lighter with me. There's barely any flame. Analyzing. Low oxygen level. Maybe the elder knows how to do this. They were probably around when fire was discovered. Hehehehe. <laughs> okay. Elder, how do we light a fire? Bahan and I planned to hang out around the campfire, but I don't know how to start it up. Try finding something you have in common. That's always a good first step. Huh? Oh, I meant the fire's not lighting up. Ah! I can, of course, show you how to do it. Just give me some time to find my tooth toot. Tooth toot. Your what? Wait for the elder by the fire. Tooth toot, coming right up. Now, let me show you how to start a proper fire. You just need to blow more oxygen into it. Good thing I brought my tooth toot with me. <gasps> toot, 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 toot. Exceptional. Ow, my ears. Is that the tooth toot? Sorry, is the tooth toot necessary, Elder? Not at all, but it's certainly entertaining. I used to be in a tooth toot band back in the day, you know? That's cool. Um, What songs did you play? Oh, what did we not play? Take me back to Ultra One. I want to be an Elder. Ultra Love. Oh, that's my favourite. We mostly play covers exclusively with tooth toots. That's cool. Um, how did you learn to play? My grandparent always had an appreciation for Altarian folk songs. I picked up the tooth toot from them. This one's actually a family heirloom. Fascinating. Uh, do you still play? Uh, not much these days. Why not? Personal reasons. That's cool. Um... Let's yawn. It's getting late, assistant. If you wish to retire for the night, the tent awaits you. What about you, Elder? Where will you sleep? Oh, I have a bedroom in the midship. See you in the morning, and do not disturb me. So I get to sleep in the tent, everyone else gets to sleep in the ship. I see how it is. Next person we find, I'll be on the floor and they'll be in the tent. 
sleep till morning. I think morning is a good time to sleep till. Okay, we did a sleep. Now the elder has things for me to do. Assistant, I'm still feeling a little peckish. Fetch me another plate of jelly, will you? Are you sure? It tastes really bad without the flavours. It's probably just an acquired taste. You younglings are so fussy. Then I'll bring you more jelly right away. To give someone an item, select it from your inventory and choose to hold it in your hands. Then approach the recipient and use the interact key. Okay. V opens my inventory. Okay, well, tab and clicking on inventory also does the same. So I have some jelly. E to give. Okay, that's not too bad. Here you go, Elder. Freshly made jelly. Ah, oh, excellent. Mmm. Ah, blech. It's so good. It's so savoury. You must try it. Uh, no thanks. No, no, I insist. Here, have the whole plate. Oh, the aftertaste. I must relish this in private. Go now. You're disturbing my culinary experience. I'll just throw this away in the bushes. <laughs> Head over to the nearby plants. The ones that we just planted, I imagine, which are just down here. And we can probably fertilize them with the jelly. Use jelly from your inventory to hold it and bring it to the plants. Right. There we are. Oh, these plants look really lush after I threw the jelly on them. Why plants jelly, but KK no jelly. Do you have taste buds, bud? Error locating receptor cells. That's probably a good thing. You and the plants might be the only ones able to eat this jelly. But I guess it's still nutritious, even if it tastes bad. Look, the plants made extra flowers and leaves. I think we can take some without hurting them now. Maybe show them to Bahan too. They seem to enjoy watching the plants grow earlier. Jelly works as fertilizer. Using jelly on a plant nourishes them and allows you to harvest other things besides seeds. Oh wow, cool. Can we um, put jelly on the tree then? Oh, it says harvest plant parts. Harvest fern then. Oh wow, I've got robust rhizome and soft morsels. Wonderful. Talk to Baha. I wanted to fertilize the other ones soon as well. Baha, look what I've picked. Wow, are these from plants? Those look succulent and such a sweet aroma. Yes, I think they absorb nutrients from the jelly. You threw my jelly on the ground? You said it was inedible. That doesn't mean you can disrespect my craft, my calling. <sighs> no sense crying over spilt jelly, I suppose. Let me get another look at those plant parts. Hmm, when I was a student, we had culinary history classes. Elder Yasma, our teacher, mentioned this old way of cooking that intrigued me. Back on Ultra 1, they used raw ingredients for cooking. Nothing processed. Can you believe? You know, I think I can make something with these plant parts. I'm not sure how, though. Can't use the extra nutri for this. Maybe Racer could help build something for that once we find them. Oh, well, I wouldn't want to bother them. But it'd be wonderful to have them here. Right then, so we're probably going to go find Racer. We have the location of another survey probe. It seems to have landed in an estuary. The land gets all wet there. Not very good for my ankles, as you can imagine, so you must venture out in my stead. Given what Racer describes in their note, it could very well be where they're headed. Regardless, it's the best lead we have right now, so go to the ship and upload the location to your compass. Oh, and if you do find Razor, persuade them to return to the half-ship quickly before Bahan tries to engineer any impromptu bedroom for themselves. Okay. Let's go and get our location. Follow the signal south. So, can we go south from this way? By this tree? Ah, it looks like we might be able to. What is this? Again, some type of foam that went bad. Maybe there's a way to turn it into something useful. Bubbling goo. This is more bubbling goo. Lots of bubbling goo. So let's go this way then, I guess. I think we're headed in the right way. What's that? Oh, the elder wasn't kidding. The ground is really soggy here. Mm, the soil feels so different, maybe because of all the moisture. It's just a hunch, but I don't think any plants can grow here. We might have to pay extra attention to what seeds we try and sow here. Affirmative. Think time engaged. Different soil types require different seeds. Keep track on what type of soil you're planting in by checking on the soil icon. Okay. 
wet soil and dry soil. What is this? It is a mushroom. Cool. So I can still shovel here. Um, so dry and soft, dry and soft, cold and soft. Okay, well, let's just close up and continue. Well, oh, no, I do need to get that sorted, don't I? Hmm. Well, what can I plant there, then? Because I've only so far found mushrooms. Let's try and put a fern there and see what happens. Let's then try and put a... Up there. It looks like trees don't work on dry, so. I would like to replace those eventually. I need to get all three going. Maybe a second fern would be enough then. Ferns work on wet, so. There we are. Um. Scan the... oops. A gooey substance that seems to have hardened with time appears to have a violent reaction when plants are nearby. But that didn't allow me through. This is the way I need to go as well. So we might need better plants for wet. Hmm, can I go this way? I can't get rid of the waste glass at the moment. Or that waste stuff either. Okay. So what am I supposed to do to, to get that working then? I need more mushroom seeds. But I can't get them to make seeds yet because I don't have the right stuff. You get some more of everything's seeds. Uh, oh, I don't want to scan you. No, 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 no. Okay. Um, let's get rid of the shovel. Right. No, I don't, don't want to scan you or to shovel you or anything. Empty hands. There we are. Harvest. I want to get some more seeds. And these ones are brilliant for that. So what did we plant so far? It was two ferns, wasn't it? Herb doesn't grow at all. Let's try and remove the one of the ferns, I think. Oh, I got a new tree thing from that tr that tree up there. Here we are. That'll work. Yeah! I worked really well, and that means that I can now harvest the fungus and get um, glabutinique seeds or something. Yeah. Well, that worked well. Um, I think it's like kind of this way. Oh, there's some more trash. Come to me, trash. I can't get through there. Here we are. Up there. Yeah, there it is. Let's find a way around it. Or around, around to it, maybe. Um, okay. Looks like we need to go up this way. Ooh, we could totally try and do something up here. I... Can I? Yeah, I need to do something across here, actually. Get that root working, I think. So let's pick up the trash. And then I, I think I need to plant another couple of things here. So let's dig some... 
dig some stuff up. So how about we go with a tree? And then a fern. I might need to change some bits around. So it's done them the wrong way around a little bit. Um, I would prefer to have a tree here. I'll remove that fern and I want a mushroom. Then I think a fern needs to go there. Mushroom there. Neither of those need to be mushrooms. <laughs> Although they could be mushrooms actually, as long as I put a fern and a herb next to them. So if I put a herb in here, they might work. Sorry, not a herb, a um a tree. A tree there. And then a fern here. And then a fern here. I'm going to try not to dig them up unless I, I absolutely can't help it. So this plot, I could probably do a little bit of rearranging to get things right. So I think maybe a tree could go here. That would be very helpful. And then that fern there should probably be a mushroom. fern there should also be a mushroom just want to get everything planted right and then it, it might be a little bit of a waste of seeds but we're going to have so many seeds from this look at this place it's really well done so everything's massive it's great um so that hopefully should have released this so we can progress onwards i can always go back up there if i need more more wetland seeds it's going to be wonderful, so... Um, I needed to get up there, didn't I? Which meant going across this route, but I don't see a way to do that. Because of course I don't. I did all of this and I thought, well, that'll be my way onto that route. But no, it's not a very good route, clearly. Can't get across. Okay. Let's have a look on my map and see if I can see much more. Where am I? I'm here. No, that's the rocky shoreline. I'm down here. Ah, oh, it's not in enough detail to really help me, is it? Guess I'm just running around trying to work out where I'm going. Can't get rid, rid of that. I need to get around, like, this way more. I go around here. Look, that's one of our tents. Razor must have spent the night here. They can't be too far now. Alright. We found a tent. Some more garbage. Let's keep going. Let's see if I can get to the probe around this way. I need to get around the other way, basically. So I'm on the right side of that. Yeah, there we are. Tracks ahead. So if I plant things here, I can get rid of that. Which 
which I think I want to do. So a tree and a... Oh no, I can't plant a tree. I can only do... A fern and a herb. We'll do a fern and then I'm going to go and uh, harvest the trees over where I was before. And just get plenty of seeds that will work on a wetland biome. Oh, I got stuck in oil. Oh no. Like I'm really stuck. Oh, let me out. Let me out. Eh. I'm going to try and scan it and see if that will let me... Jog me enough to let me out. Don't be stuck. How have I managed that? Um, right, is there an unstuck on this at all? Ooh. Hang on. Apply settings. No, okay. Controls. Okay, no one's stuck, and I can't, I am stuck, I am utterly stuck, I can't get out. Right, okay, let's try um, and quickly save and continue and just see if it unsticks me. That sometimes works. Oof. Well, let's see how much of that that I just did is still uh, is still done. It hopefully has just put me back, but has still got all the stuff that I did. Um, finger is crossed. Yeah, that's all still. All still good, so all around here is good. All up there is still done. Yeah, okay, so that's fine. It just it just put me back to camp, which is perfect. That's what I needed. Don't go near that oil slick again, she lab. So I was just trying to I really hate the lighting in this though. I was trying to get that done, wasn't I? But I wanted to go up here and harvest a few things. There we are. Back to, I'm back to where I was. So let's see if these are ready to harvest. They're all nice. And big, so they should hopefully be harvestable. But apparently no. Can I harvest the tree? Yes. Ferns apparently are taking a while, so... I will take some of the tree seeds and uh, just any tree seeds I can. No, alright then. Wow. At least plant a tree. I'm sure I had some fern seeds left, and if not, I'll have to go all the way back. But oh, that's so annoying that there. I keep wanting to go that way. But that will be gone in a minute. Don't you worry. I will get rid of it. And then next time, we can just go through here. So I had planted a fern, I just needed to plant a tree. A tree, plant that tree. Get rid of this rubbish here. Thank you. Oh, look, it put another tree in. Perfect. That's exactly what we need there. 
I need to kind of get up the up the cliff, don't I? Race ascent nearby. Hello, I found you. Razor, Razor, you're here, you're safe. Of course I am. I can handle myself. Ah, you're probably worried because of the empty pod. Yes, why did you leave? Crew finder thought Razor on Ultra too. The odds of only my pod detaching from the hearth ship are slim. If everyone else is lost out there, I'm not going to sit around. That's, that's fair. I also went to search for the ship. It's over there, by the way. But I don't think the Elder will be that understanding. If it's all right, I'll deal with the old altar. Anyway, our base is just a short walk north from here. Want me to walk you there? Nah, I should be fine. After all, I made it all the way here just fine, didn't I? See you back at the base then. Okay, that's my second altar found. I have to now reach the probe, which I think is somewhere around here. Hmm... Can't do this one, I don't think, because this one is... Uh, but I could do a little scanny scan of that plant. Wet and hot. Cactus. Because I don't think I can plant things here until I've got rid of the junk. So that's a no-go, I think. I think the probe might have been around here somewhere. Ah, here we go. Activate! Ah, oh, look, it's been collecting data about the environment. Let's see, with this, everything should be uploaded to the half ship servers. Did good, probe surveyor. Head back to base. Grab trash on way. Go all the way around. Because I can't go down that way because of the stuff. Ah. Okay. But I can at least go this way. And this is looking so much better, isn't it? My goodness me. Right. Maybe Racer can make a magnet or something for me to deal with the metal scrap. I feel like we've done good in the wetlands there. Definitely. Um, base, home sweet home. Hello everyone. Glad to see you made it back safely, Razor. Oh, I see our main assembler has arrived. We could have done without your little detour, but good to finally have you in the base. That's it, no lecture about the danger of braving the elements and the safety of Alterian technology. I'm just glad to see you safely returned, Racer. Just in time then, this place needs some serious work. How did you get out of the pod, by the way? Door is unlocked. I assume the cryo cycle stops if the pods are cut from the ship's power source. But then why was Bahan still in cryo sleep? I, I wasn't, I was just snoozing. Yeah, what? Big root activity! Again, let's check it out. Investigate the root again. Well, we did complete a whole other area. There's more areas this time. Other root bridge, plant healer did good. What's that light further in? Unknown energy signature detected. Ooh. Ooh, this is where we got to before. But we weren't allowed to do anything with it. Wow, this door looks ancient, but how? I had no idea this planet was ever inhabited. What kind of language is that? Huh, was that a voice? Twice, you fly. Keiki, fly! Oh no, bud, I think they just told us to leave. Bring jelly? Um, the taste will probably offend them even more. It's better to leave them alone for a while. Let's go report this to the Elder. Okay, so we've got a mysterious door again, have we? I see. I like a good mysterious door. Elder, we found a mysterious door. Elder, someone else is here. I found a door nearby and you won't believe this. I heard a voice behind it. Ah, you found another member of our crew? Where are they? 
No, they were quite suspicious of us and didn't let me enter. Sounds like us, look. I'm telling you, it wasn't one of us. That's impossible. You know every life form on this planet was documented through our telescopes before we left. It's all in the guidebook. Now, let us focus on the people who are here. Go see if the others need anything. Otherwise, I'll have to find something useful for you to do. Okay. Hey, remember we talked about doing something with the plant parts I harvested? Now that Racer's back, you should ask them if they can help you out with that. Talk to Racer. Like, just the two of us? Talk to me about what? Vaham was just saying they can use plants to make food. Well, I'll need a workspace for it. Something rustic where I can chop and boil things. Oh, and a place to keep the ingredients fresh. That sounds pretty cool, actually. I'm in. You think so? I can picture it. Some countertops, a little dining area. Yeah, I'm going to call it a kitchen. Though, it'll have to be a large structure to suit Vahan's needs, so a regular assembly box won't do. Assistant, come talk to me when you're ready to set it up. I brought assembly box with me, so they can 3D print it with foam. I just have to add materials into them once you unpack the box. Okay, Racer can provide you with construction machines. Talk to them to choose what to build. Alright, and build me a kitchen. Need something? Can we build something? Can we build a kitchen? Carry the box containing the construction machine to the designated spot and provide it with the resources shown in order to construct a new building. Okay. Uh, so, would there be a box up here again? No. Let them eat plants. Oh, so the box is right next. Okay, the box is right there. And the kitchen is going to be over here, apparently. Build. Wow! That's massive! I need garbage. Well, I have some of that. Oh, look, it's building all the foam. This is amazing. Now it needs some more garbage. Now I need some more garbage. This is so cool. I didn't get to see this in the uh, in the demo. <gasps> wow. Activate. We did it. Cakey. Machine helpful. Let's go tell Razor that it's done. Hopefully this will help Bahan make something that tastes better than that awful jelly. Wow. Let's have a look in it. Wow. It's like a whole little canteen. This is insane. I love it. Okay. We make you a canteen. It's done. The kitchen's ready for its chef. Nice work. I've forgotten how nice it is to make things yourself rather than have it pre-made from a box. Physical labour does build up an appetite, though. What do you say, Bahan? Any chance you could whip up something to eat in our new kitchen? Absolutely. It's the least we can do to repay you for your incredible craftsmanship. Wait, we? But I just set up the whole kitchen. Ahem, um, true. But I can't cook without ingredients, after all. That's true, I guess. Those plant parts you showed me earlier will probably work great as an ingredient. But we'll probably need more than that. Could you maybe see if you can find one or two more different ingredients? I would really open up my options when it comes to crafting something really tasty. Why, yes. All right, Keiki, let's take inventory of what we have so far and figure out which plants we have yet to try fertilizing. Calculating. Target suggestion marks on compass. Perfect. Appreciate it, bud. Okay, so there are two down here that we haven't fertilized. I still probably have a little bit of jelly. So there's one fern here. And a tree here. So let's harvest the tree. Let's also uh, hang on, it was V for my inventory, wasn't it? And then I need to get some jelly. And then I need to put that down here. Fertilize. I'm sorry. Fertilize. Then we can harvest a tree and get some fresh greens and some bearing bark. Then I'll need to make some more jelly, I think. Well, I've got lots of. 
Lots of herb ones and lots of fern ones. Trying not to get rid of too many of anything. All right, so that gave me three more jelly. Oh, I might have had enough jelly actually, but it doesn't hurt to have more and I can get more different ingredients and things. All right, so there was one apparently down here. So it's maybe the mushrooms they're wanting. I expect it's this little patch here. And they want me to harvest the mushrooms. It doesn't look like there's anything to harvest at the moment. So let's get some jelly on there. Then we can harvest gooey slabs and stretchy stalks. Okay, that should be enough ingredients apparently. Let's go back to Bahan. We haven't yet had any herbs though. Gooey slab. Nom nom nom. Stretchy stalk. I'm going to assume that Bahan's going to be in the kitchen now. No, apparently not. Still at the campsite then? Ah, oh, great, you're back. Did you manage to find anything? Sure did. Three different ingredients, just like you asked. Perfect. Let me know when you're ready to get started. I can hardly wait. With ingredients stocked in your infantry, ask Bahan and they'll help you cook any of the recipes you've learned. Hello there. Can you cook something for me? A uh, juicy pie and leafy salad. Okay. Bahan's running off to the kitchen. Making me a leafy salad. And we have a juicy pie as well. This kitchen's amazing. I can't wait to see what else we can build. Hello there. I can take the food off your hands. Give Racer the food that Bahan made. Oh, it's done. Oh, that smell. It's absolutely fantastic. My mouth is watering just from holding it. This isn't just a step up from the jelly. It's a whole leap. I'll go and deliver this to Racer right away. I'm sure they're eager to know what you managed to cook up in here. Thank you. While I would nothing, sorry, but while I would like nothing else than to see their reaction to my cooking, I fear my excited staring might put a damper on their appetite. Oh, and be sure to bring by any other ingredients you might find out there. I'm sure there's a lot of different things we can make once we expand our pantry a bit. Will do. Your friends prefer certain items or dishes. Gifting them these specific things would be greatly appreciated. Right. Need something? Um, that was all. Oh, oh I need to... Yum, that's one of my favourites. That was delicious. Bahan is quite skilled at this ancient way of making food. Both you and Bahan did great. I really want to make more stuff now. But if we're going to keep building, we need different materials. Which reminds me, I've seen you had trouble crossing into some areas. A lot of junk blocking the way. When I had my internship at Exoco, I worked on a tool that could break down junk into useful materials. They didn't go with it. Said we have no need to reuse things. But I think we could make it work here. There was litter everywhere all over the planet and they didn't want to reuse things. Lovely. I can see why they had to move. I wanted to call it the Exo Multi. It's just a rough prototype, so I'm sure Madari will have some snide comment about it, but it's enough to get you started. I hope Madari is safe. For a nerd, they're actually pretty good at being outdoors. Anyway, I've seen some big metal chunks around my pod that seem difficult to remove. I can set up the tools to break those down. But we need to set up a workbench to craft the Exo Multi. Come talk to me when you're ready to place it. I'll have the assembly box ready. Right then, I'm ready now. Can we build something? A workbench. Thank you very much. I will put it over here. This camp's looking pretty good now, isn't it? Okay, done. Bench maker, tool maker next. Yes, Razor said they pre-installed the Exo Multi schematic so we can start working on it at the workbench. Interact with the workbench to see any available schematics you've unlocked. These can be used to craft things such as tools, upgrades, or decorations. So Exo Multi and a disco ball. Oh yeah. <laughs> can we put a disco ball in the kitchen? Oof, those schematics were intricate, but we did it. Now to test it out. 
pick metal chunk? Yeah, there's some around the base here, and Racer also mentions seeing some around their pod. Let's clear them out. With the Exo Multi, you can now remove metal scrap piles and convert them into a new resource. Remember to use your map and journal to find your way around. That's fine, I just need to find a piece of scrap metal. I should easily be able to do that. We need to do more revitalizing. So, this is glass. Can we do glass? No, might need something else for glass then. Can... Oh, there's some nice soil here that I can revitalize. But I, I, yeah, at the moment I want to try and find the scrap. What's this up here? Is that a herb? Oh, it looks like we've got animals here now. We didn't have animals last time. I need to scan these. A chonker. <laughs> it's a chonker. I love it. Oh. And a snable. A chonker and a snable. Fantastic. I think I'm going the wrong way completely for this, so let's just not worry about it too much and go back. I'm happy that I found animals though. That was awesome source. gonna go down this way towards the cliffs where Racer's pod was and that might help me. They're supposed to be doing things around here anyway so yeah look at this there's definitely some scrap up here that we can scan and I can remove. Here we are. Exo multi remove. That's really helped, I think. Make everything a bit prettier. That I need to go from the other direction. some stuff up here. So I need a herb and a fern. And a herb. there should really be a fern but I'm not too worried about that at the moment um, the seeds will get I won't have enough seeds if I'm not careful so just run back over here and just grab some more seeds no don't remove the fern oh no Burr. Okay, let's uh, get my hand clear and then harvest. Harvest the herb. Go down here. I'm not sure why these are not happy. I think they need a tree in here instead. But I can't remove them to do it, which is sad times. Plenty of fern seeds there, which is wonderful. 
see what we've got here. Zero. Hmm. Yeah, well, we've got something at least. Alright, let's go and have a look around Racer's pod. And see if I can do a bit of... Oh yeah, there's one up here. Let's get the exo multi out. And there's a few things around here that I can grab. Uh, well, I can plant, sorry. It wants me to revitalise everywhere, so I shall try. Shovel out. So, um, dry climate. I think you have to have like at least one of the things right for it to work. If I put a tree here, a herb here. And I think we've got pretty happy plants. Nice. Okay, next one will be over here. And we'll start with maybe a tree in the back. a tree here then. Maybe a herb here. Tree here. Might be my last tree seed though. Nice. Is there anything like this too small there? That one could maybe do with being a fern instead. see if I can get any more seeds at all. That could do with be being a fern and that could do with being a fern. Let's see if I've got any ferns. Harvest fern. Yes. No. No. It might be only one harvest per patch. Then all the trees have zero on them, do they? Yeah, I, th I think that's it. One per patch. So uh, that was good. We got five of each from that one. Which means that I can now go ahead and revitalize this next patch. Okay. Get my shovel out and dig. 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 
Can I put a tree in the middle? Herb. Fern. Hopefully they'll just plant around each other nicely. Kind of needs to be a fern, I think. If I put a herb there and a fern next to it, I think we'll, we'll be okay. So a herb there and a fern here. Happy trees! I like to make it ding if I can. Yeah. Okay, so on this map of rocky shorelines... How are we doing? Four out of four. Eleven of eleven, apparently. It's up here then. I've done that. I don't know, like journal wise, like is there a certain amount I need to do or something? Um, journal, right. Can I see any more about this? No? Okay. I really need to remove these plants here. Like, I need a way to do that. That's annoying me. It should be all green and lush and love. Oh, don't tell me I'm stuck again. Come on. I can unstick. There we are. I'm trying to revitalise the areas, but it's... Oh, hang on, it's telling me where to go. It's showing me. It is showing me. But there's places around here, I think. Down here? I did that one. Is it down here? Around, around this way? Oh, here we are. Lovely. So let's do that one. And then I think I'm going to have to uh, probably head back home and... Uh, and wrap up the episode because we have been going for an hour and a half already. Time flew, didn't it? Time absolutely flew. Put in a fern. Let's put in a herb. Okay, I think I need a fern here. I may have to dig some of these up. I'm not sure, actually. Definitely a herb there. And then that I think needs to be removed and a herb or a tree put in. A tree, I think. No. A herb. And then a tree on the edge. Okay, well that's good enough. There's things that I can maybe change up, but... Apparently another one somewhere over in this direction. Not sure where that's leading me exactly. Well, that's 
apparently fine. It's done, apparently. Um, I don't want to go up there again. Let's go up the this doofa here. And I think it might be... Oh, yeah, I can see it's around there. Ah! Uh -huh. How do I get up there, then? It's so late at night as well. It's so dark. It's so, so dark. I'd love to have this area finished, though. Uh, got a cat looking right up at me, so it's like, pressure! Don't overrun. Yeah, I know, Tilly. Don't scrape at me. <laughs> she thinks she's, like, the most important thing in this house, I swear. <laughs> That's all cats, though, isn't it, really? Do you think you're the most important thing in this house? Do you? think you're more important than me making money from my YouTube stuff? Do you? <laughs> okay, let's harvest the fern here. The tree here. And the herb here. No! <clears throat> How did my shovel suddenly get out when it wasn't out before? That's so annoying. I only have one herb seed as well. It's super, super irritating. Um... Let's see if anything down here can be harvested. Harvest herb. There we are. I'm working, Tilly. <laughs> Tilly doesn't understand work. Tilly only understands Tilly hungry. So I'm just going to... I'll finish this patch off and then I think I'll wrap it up there. And if you guys like this... Please do let me know, and uh, I will see if we can continue. If it has a good response, then we'll continue. If not, then I'll play it myself. <laughs> so, let's put in a tree there, I think. And then here we've got, oh, I think we need a fern. And here, a herb. Yeah, I think a herb will be better. Is that, is that all of it? Is there is an empty... Oh, there's an empty one there. Herb, I think. There we go. Revitalized. Lovely. So this is looking great. So I think I am going to end it there. Um, so next episode, if we do another episode of this, if it does well enough, then we'll continue to revitalize everything and see where the story takes us. Uh, it looks like, if I look at the map, we've got a whole load of other areas that need to be revitalized. It looks like we've done about maybe a third of it and we haven't even really finished that. So there's probably a good amount of game to go. But like I say, I'll see how it goes and see what uh, what you guys think about the series. And if you think it's good enough, then we will continue. If not, we'll go back to things like uh, finishing up Coral Island and other demos. So I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe and uh, we'll see how it goes. Hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.